The best thing about my investigations, in fact, one of the best things about science is that sometimes you get to be really messy. But Maria, seriously, why are we collecting all this green slime? Well, Howie, that's not just green slime. That's actually a marine algae. And it's made up of loads of little cells. It's helping me to find out something about the pollution along this coastline. You mean, in my hand I'm holding thousands of individual cells? Not just thousands of cells, probably millions. So it's back to Maria's lab at Plymouth University to take a closer look. Well, it just so happens I have a magnifying glass. Ah, uh, still can't see anything. Perhaps I need to take the magnification up a bit. Mm. How about a microscope? Well, I've got a magnification now of about a thousand times, and I can see lots of little blobs. Well, each one of those blobs is an individual cell, and if we want to see those bigger now, we ought to go and look with an electron microscope. In this picture here, you can see the sheet of cells of the algae we can see that sheet of cells has been split across the top to open it up for us and see the individual cells now with a magnification of over 1,500 times. That's incredible actually, isn't it? I mean, I'm looking at that. That means that ooh, about there to there is going to be the equivalent of a pinhead. That's right, yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? Really can, big. can we go any tighter? Yeah. yeah, we can get even bigger here. OK, now we've got the cell here magnified over 13,000 times. And here we can see that this cell is slightly different from an animal cell in that it's got this cell wall on the outside. All the way around the cell, we've got the cell wall. Now, apart from a plant cell's outer wall, the algae cell is actually very similar to all cells. There's the protective membrane around the cell, the nucleus, which acts like the nerve center controlling everything that goes on in the cell, and the cytoplasm, where chemicals and food are made. 